All right. Oh, uh, switch right. topics. I'm, I want to take. I want to take it down to Atlanta for a second. Yo, What's backyard. Yes, sir. Yeah, yo, I mean, internet been going crazy. Your man Dwight Howard. He just got named. <laughs> Oh, yo. I mean, again, you can't make this stuff up. Dwight yeah. Howard just got named in a civil lawsuit. Yeah. Uh, it alleges that he sexually assaulted a man in his Georgia home in July 2021. Mm. From what the man says, he met Dwight, slid in his DMs. Dwight invited him to come on over. <laughs> Dude thought that he was gonna be having a rendezvous with, with, with Dwight Howard. And in walks a big old brony transsexual and was about to blow his back out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Listen, I, I don't even know where to go. Get, you tell me your thoughts on this. Dwight tried to run a train on a man, man. That's a train, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't know how far y'all go back, but it's the thing we used to call call trains. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole bunch of guys get on one girl, used to be back in the day, and they, you know, they partake in, in, in whatever kind of favors they were going to do. Dwight Howard was trying to run a train on a man. Now, listen, is he wrong for that, uh, for having his sexual preference? Dwight, if you like what you like, brother, hey, be you. You know, I just want him to be unapologetic. Bro, just come on out. Hey, if you into that, just say it. You know, and especially in today's climate, they'll love you for it. You probably, you know. you're probably your, your, your profile will probably rise if you just came out and say, "Hey, you know, I'm that or whatever." But you know, when, when you when you hide it and you and you hush hush and stuff like that, bro, just live your truth, man. If that's what you like, you like your man. If you want, if you want to do do chase, do do chase, bro. If you like booty, you like booty, bro. Cool. Hey, do I have a like booty? Superman like booty. Cool. But listen, right, you can't like booty and then inadvertently bring another person that like booty to this booty that only like you. <laughs> but that's right, bro. You go, you, you about to, he ain't consent to two. He you know what I'm saying? Like when I was interviewing Joe Smith, why she was talking about this thing called DP. She's talking about double penetration. Brother didn't consent to the DP dog. He just wanted he just wanted you, Dwight. He just wanted Superman. You know what I'm saying? He wanted the one on one. He was playing one on one. Boy, you brought the whole team, bro. You can't do that. You can't do that. So, you know, I just, you know, I salute to Dwight Howard for, you know, I guess he's trying to live in his truth a little bit because he ain't confirm or denying. He was just like, you know, what I do in my bedroom is between me and the person in my bedroom. Well, you didn't let the person know that was in your bedroom what the hell you had going on. Cause it got damn hit from it, boy. Walking in the bathroom, come on, her name kid named Kitty. <laughs> Motherfucker, goddamn big ass nigga walking this motherfucking name Kitty, talking about what's my bro, like. <laughs> Dwight, bro. You gotta let these folks know what you got going on, Dwight. You can't, you can't be doing it. You can't be blindsiding people, bro. You can't be hiding dicks in the closet, Dwight. Salute, man. You still one of my favorite players, dog. I still got love and respect for you. I love, but you know, you can't, you can't, yeah, bro, you can't sit there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, it, you can't just bring a, a nigga, a, a, a nigga in a dress out the closet, got you know, <laughs> hiding in the closet. You can see. I mean, <laughs> I can see. Hell no. Nah, oh, that boy a victim now. Now that other that, boy, he a victim. What they about to do so crazy to that boy? What they about to tear his little ass down, nah, boy? The white do what you do, man. But uh, you gotta let these folk know, man. You gotta get consent, man. It's gotta be consensual, sir. But live your truth, bro. The white, hey man, if that's how you rock, hey, be proud of it, man. Be proud of it. Live it. You know what I'm saying? Stand ten toes on it, and, and ain't nobody gonna shun you for that, man. Shoot, do what you do, Superman. Fly high, baby. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, oh. Uh... I don't know if you remember Jason Collins. He was like the, the the first openly gay male athlete that came out. I do remember and he him. He was applauded for it. Yeah, for sure. He was applauded. Bro, Little Nas X career was over. It was over until that boy came out. When that boy came out, up. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, she don't even got to drop records. He could just, we, we, he wore, he wear a damn Halloween costume and get endorsement deals and he could probably stream for the rest of his life. Yeah, man. Like, hey, bro, live your truth, bro. Like, I'm just saying, bro, y'all don't, in, today, in 2023, you ain't even got to hide it. Like, people applaud it, bro. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.